Hamill's offense was able to put base runners on yesterday, but could not push them across as Jarrett Belbin, the leadoff hitter. Team has found some success beating the ball into the ground. That one's a little bit more aerial, and it's lined into right for a base hit. In search of a hit in an NCAA tournament game. This one bobbled, and everybody's safe. So Riley didn't have a play. We see him on the mound. And now the fielding's let him down. Bunt laid down. Riley fields this one, makes a throw. On a ball out of the zone. Hit over towards second base. Bobbled the throw in time to Thompson, but a run scores. Rios brings in run number one for the Blue Devils. They jump out first. On the other side, 2-0, chopped. Tough play, up the middle, base hit. Tornero scores, and it's 2-0, courtesy of an RBI single from Aiden Redahan. Aiden Redahan is challenging his inner slapper. It's something that you would see in the Women's College World Series, and I say that with all compliments because you beat the ball in the dirt on the infield. Part of the plate. And he gets him. Lloyd retires Gordon with a strikeout for the second straight time today. Uh, just the way that he's handling the onions with the tongs. Jimenez in the left. And Jimenez makes a turn, heads towards second base, and he's in with a double. So another leadoff base runner both ways. All three innings, all three leadoff hitters have gotten on. Sullivan pushes this one to first base. Thompson steps on the bag. And making his way to third is Jimenez. Let's get the ball in play. He gets it in play, and this will score another run. The throw in time from Arnold, but it's three to nothing. Central Connecticut State. Campbell left 13 base runners on yesterday. We'll see what they do here. To the back for one, the throw in time. It's a double play to get out of the inning. Was the one that was in shallow right field. This one hit well, out to left, going back to the wall, it's gone. Jeff Nickel with a solo home run, and the lead expands to four to nothing for the Blue Devils. The sixth home run of the year for Nickel. Just a beautiful swing, balanced on time, barrels it up. And this one's hit well out to right. Going back, and this is gone. Back-to-back -back home runs. This time, it's Joe Rios. On back-to-back -back pitches. And Roddy, you nailed it. First pitch swinging again. First pitch swinging, ground ball, steps on the back for one, double play. Another inning ending double play for the Blue Devils defense. They get out of a bases loaded jam. A game that didn't have a lot of good, but this would be huge. And he hits it right over to Arnold who bobbles it and is able to make the throw just in time to get Jimmy Sullivan. Alex Good erases it. Down the line, and that is a fair ball. Heading towards second base and sliding in head first. It's a one-out double for Lawson Harrell. Unable to get anyone home in either occasion. And a walk here. And he misses. It's a walk, and the bases are loaded. The 2022 against Maryland. 2-1. Chopper. Tough play for good. Can't come up with it. Everybody's safe, and the Camels have their first run of the day as Harold comes in to score. It's a 5-1 game. 2-2. Swing and a miss, and Spazuko gets Belbin. 0-1. Hit well out to left, back in the 
the stands. We are tied. A two-out grand slam ties it at five for the Camels. Bryce Arnold answers the call for Campbell. And there is the home run hockey helmet. Bryce Arnold coming up the biggest when his team needed it the most. Down four, bases loaded. This is what you dream about. This is regionals. We got ourselves a top ball game. Next pitch, chopped. Right to Thompson, steps on the bag, and the Camels get out of the seventh. Bryce Arnold with a game-tying grand slam. How about it, Roddy? Look, we ultimately <laughs> are just fans like everybody else. You get a grand slam in that moment, just doing what everybody in America is doing. 3-2 pitch. Ground ball, tough play again for good, and it is a hit. And this one hits Harold. Big time, big time spot. Showing bunt, pulls back. And to boot, a steal of third base. In hopes of turning a yet another double play. Just missing off the plate. And Campbell has taken a lead for the first time in the NCAA Tournament's Columbia Regional. This deficit doesn't grow. Thompson chops this one over to third. Fielded the throw to home plate for one. The relay gets away. Here comes another run, and the lead expands to two for Campbell. As Grant Nip scores, it's 7-5 Camels on a heads-up play. 1-2. Belbin serves this one to left. Back to the wall. It's gone. Jared Belbin has busted this game open with a three-run homer. It's his 20th of the season. And just like that, the lead is 10-5 for Campbell. And it wasn't like it was sort of a back and forth affair and they were flirting. Central Connecticut State controlled this game for the first six innings. And Arnold squeezes it for the final out of the eighth. Turnero has scored a run in single today. Ground ball over to third, fielded by Riley, and Campbell has advanced on the Sunday. The Camels had their hands full with Central Connecticut State, but they advanced to play on Sunday at noon Eastern.